recently watched a touching video that was done in another country and had subtitles so that I could understand it. I want to give you a summary of what happened in this video as I saw it. A young man had a mother at home who was in a lot of pain and apparently they did not have money to buy any medicine. So the young man, who looked like he was about 10 years old, stole three bottles of pain relief medicine. Well, the young man was caught by the store owner in front of the soup shop. The owner of the soup shop was a generous man who did what he could to help people out. When he saw this young man being chewed out by the drugstore owner, he pulled the money out of his own pocket to pay for the medicine. And he had his daughter go get the young man some vegetable soup to take home. The video goes on to show the owner of the soup shop getting older and giving free soup to those who were in need. Then some 30 years pass and the man falls down from some kind of attack on his body while he's working and then it shows his daughter being with him in the hospital. Whatever happens to him turned out to be an expensive visit to the hospital, and the daughter starts thinking about how they are going to have to close the soup shop and sell it to help pay for the huge hospital bill. The daughter is in tears because she does not know what they're going to do. As the video continues, it reveals that the doctor working with this man is the same young man that the generous store owner helped out 30 years ago. It is implied that he became a doctor because of whatever his mom had that she may have died from. The daughter wakes up by her dad's side to see a letter from the doctor who wrote, your bill has been paid in full by three bottles of painkillers and some vegetable soup 30 years ago. So don't ever underestimate what your good deeds can do today that will affect the lives of those around you and how you may find the same kindness shown back to you. It is true that others may not show you the same kindness as you show to others, but as Christians, we can know that our good deeds do not go unnoticed by God. In fact, Jesus commands us to do good deeds, as we see in Matthew 5 and verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. In Galatians 6 and verse number 9, and let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are the household of faith. The good deeds we do will not earn us salvation, but they will honor our Father in heaven. When we do good deeds for others, we are following the example of Christ. When he was on this earth, he did as much as he could for those that he encountered. He fed them healed them, and taught them the words of life. Jesus used his good works as an opportunity to show the people that he cared for them, which would make it easier for them to be able to sit down and listen to what he had to say. We should use our good deeds to do the same. It is all about giving God the glory for whatever we do. Our goal should be to touch as many lives as we can, as often as we can. Many times when you are a kind, compassionate person, you will receive the same treatment in your time of need. But if you do not, you can still hold your head high because you have been a good servant of God. We should all take great comfort from what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. God knows all and sees all. So we should never cease doing good deeds and touching the lives of others because God will be pleased with us whether we see the return of kindness or not. We can die with smiles on our faces knowing we did what we could to honor our God and that our good works were not done in vain. I want to close with the comforting words of Jesus which further confirms that keeping the faith by doing good deeds and by living your life by the word of God will allow you to have confidence that heaven will be your home. Revelation 2 and verse 10, Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life.